guys, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thanks everyone so far who's liked and subscribed and taken a bit of a journey with our last carding videos. Today's episode is going to be all about previewing and showcasing Arrow's latest chassis. So this is the same cart that I raced at the previous Australian Kart Championship Rounds. I'm going to be racing at next week's uh, Australian Kart Championship Round 3 as well. So just want to give you guys a bit of a, a, bit of a look over the cart, notice some of the changes, how that reacts to the driver. So let's get stuck into it. Okay, so Arrow's latest cart, it doesn't have a name just yet. So we're still putting the final touches uh, on the cart that you can see in front of us here today. But one of the biggest characteristics that we can notice uh, from showcasing the cart is it doesn't have a third bearing. Now, a lot of the carts that we use these days uh, run a loose third bearing anyway. So it's sort of just sitting in there and it's floating around in the back axle. But on Arrow's latest cart, they don't even give you that option. So there's less drag coming but there's also a different chassis design to compensate not having that third bearing. So from a driving point of view, that's gonna change how the cart releases uh, coming out of the corners, and it's also gonna change the braking stability into the corner as well. That's probably the first thing that most people from the outside can look at the cart, and they can see it's got no third bearing even attached to the cart. Now when we're looking towards the back end of the cart, the first thing you notice is how dirty this exhaust pipe is. So the preparation, leading to these big events hasn't quite been looked at in regards to the pipe, but noticing how we don't have a third bearing in there. You can see how the chassis design is a lot different to what other carts uh, are and what we've previously had with the Arrow uh, X range. So no third bearing option, just goes straight from behind the engine rail and it connects up to the chassis rail right at the back. Okay, so one of the next things that we might notice from when we're looking at the chassis is that underneath the seat rail, this, this chassis actually has a couple of different bends in the rail. So that's gonna change the way the cart flexes when it goes around a corner. Now, we know that obviously go-karts have that suspension, so the guys who are designing up these carts are always looking at ways that you can help unload that inside tire so that those three wheels are driving in the corners and they don't let the cart bog down. So Arrow's been designed up this cart with uh, a different bend in it, that's gonna change the way the car can handle in the middle of the exit of a race corner. So here we can see the different bend in the chassis rail. So it's not quite the same as what the previous chassis design was. So that slight bend is gonna change the amount of flex that the car's gonna be getting around the corners. So having raced both the X5 previously, uh, maybe about a year to a year and a half ago, and now the new Arrow version, some of the things that come to mind when it comes to the different characteristics that you can feel from a driving point of view is the latest version that we have here is a lot more direct in the front end. So the first time you want to turn the steering wheel, it just turns wherever you want it to. Um, so it's good in some instances, um, higher grip conditions, you want that front end. When it gets normally a bit heavy in the front end, this car's a lot more direct. So it's good from a driving point of view. Where it can catch a couple of people that has caught myself out a few times is when the track's a little bit slippery, it's a bit greasy, the front end can be so overpowering, you need to sort of dull the front end down to make it sort of a, a nicer balance. Now, the cart release is very, very good out of the tight corners, but if you've got too much front steam, you're starting to slide as you're going in the corners, that can sort of catch some guys out who are less experienced and then moving into these carts. Now, the second thing that really stood out for me when I was practicing before the Australian Car Championship round is the release out of the corners. So the more grip that came down into the, into the racetrack, the more carts, the more new tyres that would be placed on the cart, the faster it released out of the corners. Now, it was very forgiving where I've driven plenty of carts um, in the arrow range before and they do have that initial release out of the corners. This one just seemed to sort of be a bit more forgiving. So you can make a, a bit of a mistake and you can still put your foot down and really accelerate out of the corners quite well. Where on previous models, what I've found is that you had to be more precise with your driving to get that initial release out of the corner. So this one, a bit more forgiving. Um, and from some of the results that we've seen in New Zealand previously, they've won the Rotax Light uh, New Zealand Championships with Willie Exton. And they've also won in the Junior National Heavy Class, the Victorian State Championships as well. So we've got guys, uh, myself in an X30 on MG tyres, you've got, uh, a Rotax light cart on Dunlop tyres, and then you've got a KA4 heavy class uh, with a Bridgestone tyre. So three different drivers, 
two different countries and it's performing at a very good rate. So um, that's really encouraging signs. But some of the things that I really think uh, are paying dividends in Arrow's uh, latest cart is that because it's a bit more lively and a bit more slippery in the corners, you can actually dial in a bit more grip to achieve a fast lap time, that good balance. But it gives you more scope to work with as the track develops. And as it gets a bit faster, there's more room to play with to be able to extract that last um, tenth or two where you see some carts, they're already on those hard axles or the extreme hard axles. They've already got the stiffer seats in it straight away. Uh, um, and they've got their max rear tracks. They're sort of limited when the track gets better or they're going to put a new set of tires on, they've got nowhere else to go. Where how I've driven it at the previous round is we're actually quite a little bit narrower in the rear track than what we would um, be accustomed to previously. We've got plenty of axle grades higher to go if we want to release more grip. So there's a plenty of things that we've been able to do with this chassis design now that sort of suits that if you need to add grip, you can add grip and you still get the release. But if the track does get better, you've got more scope to be able to release that grip out of the car. Okay, so what are my final thoughts on Arrow's latest car? Well, for myself personally, it's a very, very fast car. Now, we might have to adjust our driving style to suit this particular car because the front end is so direct. Um, so you can't charge into the corner like you used to because this car gets the speed from the middle of the corner on the exit. So for someone like myself who likes to pack the corners uh, and make up my time, I have to just bring that back 10%. But from what I've driven so far, and it hasn't only been the one track of Todd Road, very, very fast out of the corners and very forgiving. So it suits my driving style to a T. I've just had to adjust that and bring it back a little bit. Now we've seen the results we've seen in other classes and other tyres. I'm confident that this is going to be a, a race winner anywhere it's been driven. And for a, a newcomer, they're going to get that experience of feeling that cart release out of the corner. So the engine's not going to be labouring out of your turns. And it's going to be very forgiving for any of those mistakes that you might make. So thanks very much for tuning in to this episode about Arrow's cart review. If there's any other products that you want me to review or engines you want me to review, please just comment down below and I'll go through them and we can try and do some future videos for you guys as well. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe to never miss another episode on our channel. Until next time, cheers.